Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time when we left off, I had finished out the bridge in the command deck of the Leviathan. Karth had accomplished his revenge against uh, Saul Karif. And Saul's last words, whatever they were, really seemed to upset him. We're gonna head to the hangar now. I mean, those of you who know, you know, but I'll comment more on this impending story development after it happens. It's Candorus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. Very good. Sith Trooper. Get wrecked. A lot of them. Nice and easy, though. Antidote kit, advanced repair kit, and med pack. Antidote kit, credits, and a med pack. Credits in a med pack. And we got remains as well. Credits! That's it for now. What about south? What's in here? Dark Jedi and a Dark Jedi Master. Well. This could actually be tough. I doubt it. Awesome work. Adrenal strength, parts, sonic grenades, advanced med pack, computer spike, repair kit, sonic grenades, credits, parts, med pack. I am interested in what they dropped. Ion grenades. The master dropped nothing. Well, that seems ridiculous. Advanced repair kit and credits. Credits and an antidote kit. All right, onward. Last door. More bad guys. Wow. My force wave is awesome. Storage cylinder. Antidote kit med pack. Foot locker. Antidote kit advanced med pack. Another storage cylinder. Credits in a med pack. Remains. Poison grenade and repair kit. Hey, it's the Ebonhawk. 
That's a handsome ship. I dare say. Can't seem to open that door. Alright. Footlocker. Antidote kit, advanced repair kit, advanced med pack. Concussion grenade, computer spike, frag grenade. And another blast door. Alright, it's coming! I think it cuts to a movie, unfortunately. So I'll have to splice it in afterward. Darth Malak! Darth Malak. Down you go! Ha 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 I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? Reunion? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The movie's called Revelation. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? Comes. This blew my fucking mind in 2003 when this game came out. It was so well done. You cannot hide from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord. And know that I have taken your place. I'm Darth Revan? How is that possible? So before I proceed with more of the dialogue, I read an interview pretty recently, I think it was right after they announced the remake, with the people who wrote this game, and they said, you know, if your twist is done well, about 10% of your audience should, be, should figure it out before it happens, and, you know, based on their informal surveys or whatever, they got about that number. I was among the folks who did not figure it out when I was 18 and this game came out, but I thought it was just so well done. And, you know, in hindsight, they telegraph it really, really, really well without being super overt. I, I, it's awesome. All right, I'm Darth Revan. How is that possible? You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. 
During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi Strike Team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. Why wouldn't the Jedi simply kill me? The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. How did they capture someone as powerful as Revan? I mean, me. I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed the Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. But why did you betray your master? You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy. But you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. Bastila, is this true? It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. Then why don't I remember being Revan? The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Why not just let me die? The Jedi hold all life sacred, even that of a Sith Lord. I could not just let you die, Revan, not if it was possible to save you. Bastila hides the truth behind noble words, Revan. The Jedi needed the memories buried deep in your wounded mind. There was no other way to bring them out. They had to keep you alive. But why program me with another identity? We couldn't simply restore your true identity. Revan was too dangerous. But locked inside your mind was information the Republic needed. The secrets of the Starforge. The Council created an identity for you. A soldier under my command. Your subconscious memories were supposed to lead me to the Starforge. There was no other way to get the information. They made you their puppet, Revan. And Bastila was the handler pulling your strings. Why you, Bastila? Why did the Council choose you? When I used my Force powers to keep you alive on that bridge, it created our bond. I convinced the Council that I could use that bond to draw out your memories and lead us to the Starforge. Tell the truth, Bastila. You wanted to taste the dark side for yourself. You knew the only way the Council would permit you to explore the Sith's power was through Revan's lost memories. No. I wanted to help you, Revan. I thought this mission would redeem you, that it would atone for your past crimes. How else could you be saved? But what if I remembered who I really was? You had to be healed so I could try and draw out the secrets of the Starforge. It was our only hope of stopping the Sith. It was a risk the Council chose to take. I understand, Bastila. You had no other choice. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Triumph, Malak. You seem to forget that I'm still alive. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice, as it was meant to be. Here we go. One-on-one -on -one with Darth Malak.
Stunned. Haha. <laughs> Love it. Alright, I need to try and stun him again. Behold the Jedi Counselor's Force Powers. That was weak. <clears throat> weak shit, Malak. It does give us a chance to heal ourselves, so that's not all bad. Work our way past some more blast doors. I think if we go through that one, it triggers the next fight. I'm just trying to fill in my map before we do that. Kind of a silly little exercise, but it's all right. All right, so let's get in behind the door he locked himself behind right here. This time, I'm going to throw on a master speed before I go in. Oh. Well, I guess I can't go that way. That's okay. <laughs> boom, boom. This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! Door sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. What about Bastila? We have to help her. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on. Fair enough, Karth. One thousand XP and a journal entry added. Bastila. Bastila has been captured by Darth Malak, your old apprentice. Captured by the Leviathan. You've escaped the Le Le yeah. You've escaped the Leviathan and survived a confrontation with Darth Malak himself. But the cost of your survival is high. Bastila is now a prisoner of the Dark Lord, and you must come to grips with the shocking revelation that you are, in fact, Darth Revan, the former Lord of the Sith. And we just hit a new level up. Skills, always persuade. Alright, we got one power. Where should we put it? What a good question. It's actually time to start a new line. We could do Force Valor, Force Aura, Energy Resistance. I think Stun, probably the best of the available options. We're two levels off of the cap now, and we got to take we got to take Karth, and we got to head east. The 
Kevin Hawk. have to do fighters here. And you'll notice the Leviathan's actually there. That's a nice touch. Makes it a little bit different. one more. Where is it? To Malik. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's, she's dead? Bah, Malik won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Alright. I think the only... I didn't quite start recording in time, but Jolie's line was just something like, Where is Bastila? What happened on that ship? We have to go back for Bastila. We can't help Bastila, not unless we find the Star Forge first. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malik said, or should I? I'll tell them. I'm... I'm Darth Revan. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind. Programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Small bits. A few strange dreams and visions. That's all. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then... It doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. I'm sorry, Karth. I wish this wasn't true. Hey, you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. I agree with Mission. I swore a life debt to the person you are, not to the person you were. Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. We can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? I like going, ar I like going around the room here. This is good, uh, good stuff. What about you, Jolie? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? 
I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. What do you think, Candorus? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. <clears throat> so this is an interesting point. Uh, we can no longer repair HK-47. Um, after this point, he gets his memory back, but he doesn't get the stat bonuses that you would get from repairing him. So if you're wondering what we missed out on, not that I would use a non-Jedi anyway, but he actually becomes pretty good. If you manage to make all four repairs, he gets a total of four points to dexterity, I think plus two to defense, and he regenerates one hit point every three seconds. You also get some dialogue from him about his prior owners, but I we may be able to get that dialogue anyway i'm not sure if not i will at least dive into a wiki and go through it because it's just it's not worth investing in repair skill on your main character at the expense of persuade it just isn't and and you kind of have to make that choice so uh but we'll at least explore what we could have heard if not but you know the stat bonuses you miss out on what do you have to say, HK-47? Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Why? What's happening? Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Your homing system? What's that? Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. You mean, Revan? Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Um, I think it's kind of dumb that you don't get the stat bonuses at this point. It seems like it was supposed to, and that's probably an oversight. I imagine that's something that'll get fixed in the remake. But I suppose we'll find out. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky, and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Ha. Good point. You won't abandon me, will you, T3? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Well, Karth, will you stand with me against Malak? Well, the others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I won't let you down, Karth. I promise. I won't believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. You have to try, for Bastila's sake. <laughs> how do you think I feel? This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments, or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late.
There's one thing that strikes me as maybe kind of a plot hole at this point. Why on earth does no one on Corbin recognize Revan? That seems insane. <clears throat> All right, that was significant enough to be an episode, I think. Maybe um, we should be we should be able to do a couple more party member conversations right quick. I'm gonna do those, and then uh, probably call it an episode before we get out to explore Corbin. So we should be able to have one with Juhani. How can you possibly be Raven, the one? The Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. It was Revan leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith that something was wrong with it. The man who saved me could never go completely to the dark side. I regret any of the harm I may have caused. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. You will do fine, Juhani. Thank you for placing your confidence in me. I only wish I had your heart as well. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember it. Journal entry added. Juhani. Jihani has taken the news of your past rather well. She believes that the good in you she knew as Revan could never be fully extinguished. You should not abuse her trust in you. We can also finally have another talk with Candorus, which makes sense. Yeah, what do you want? Tell me about when you worked for Davik. Working for Davik was like driving a spike through the side of your head. Sure, you got something new in there, but in the end, you've lost something as well. Beating up people who wouldn't or couldn't pay, strong-arming his competitors, killing who he said. It was busy work, nothing decent. <clears throat> you were an assassin? Assassin, mercenary. Those are names people give guys like me who do the killing to make us seem better or worse in their eyes. I've killed many people. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I have. Criminals, competitors, businessmen, police, women, children. Jedi were a better challenge. But they hardly ever poked around in the Undercity. Until you came along. But I never wanted to challenge you. Never felt the need. Maybe I knew I couldn't win. Just like all those years ago. A wise decision. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you probably would have beaten me again. Maybe you would have. But you're not who you were back then. I can tell. You've changed. And maybe I have to. I remember a time when I could do anything I wanted. Kill, maim, murder. It was all the same to me. But now, now that I am older, I can look back and regret. Over what? I look back and regret all the chances I had as a warrior. And then all the chances I've had since then. I, I shouldn't be getting like this. Not when so many other things are happening, but... It feels like... Like something has changed inside, and I don't know what it is. Bah! This is unbecoming a warrior! Let's get on with everything before I start getting sentimental or something. Is there something else you want to know? Nothing more for now. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Now, I'm also interested to see... If, um... Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. I would like to try restoring some of your memory. Commentary. That is unnecessary now, Master. I have been returned to you and my memory core is now fully functional. Statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. I exist to serve Revan as your personal battle droid. In time, my assassination protocol can be restored, and at that point I will once again endeavor to eliminate any meatbag opposition you may have. So, his dialogue really sounds to me... HK-47 is ready to... Like we were supposed to get his, uh... Stat boosts as well. But 
You just don't. Uh, so, you belonged to Revan originally? Statement. Yes, Master. You created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. It's probably better it worked out this way. Observation. You may be right, Master. This way we are reunited, and neither of us has suffered permanent termination. Am I very much like the Revan you knew? Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life that is unsettling. This cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. Do you know anything about the Starforge? Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Starforge's secrets. What can you tell me of Malik? Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. <laughs> so, why the meatbag references? Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. You changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. So Malik was the original meatbag? I like that idea. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. That will be all, HK-47. As you desire, Master. Signing off. Alright, so you're gonna have to tolerate my voice instead of his for the uh, dialogue that's available <clears throat> when the... Uh, When, when you make the repairs, but I will tell you what happens. You can repair him a total of four times. The first time, you need to have a repair rank of eight. And this is what happens. If you succeed, he says, and now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Because of your repairs, HK-47 now has a permanent bonus of plus two to his dexterity. Journal entry for HK-47. Oh yeah, and let me check the completed quests. So we should have a few more, I think. Yeah, HK-47. It seems the mystery of HK-47 has finally been solved. The person who sent the droid on his original assassination mission was you. HK-47 was, was a Sith assassination droid and the personal bodyguard of Darth Revan. Against all odds, HK-47 returned to his master without even knowing it. But here's the entry you get after the first repair. Successfully tampering with HK-47's memory core has recovered the droid's memory of his most recent owner. The dissolution of the owner's company and auctioning of its assets must be how HK-47 ended up in the droid shop on Tatooine. How the droid got to the executive, however, is unknown. So this is the dialogue. Access complete. I have restored a great deal of information about my previous master. Would you like to hear it? Yes, let me hear it. Recitation. The earliest memory of my last owner specifies that he was human, a low-ranking commercial officer for Sistec Corporation. I am unaware of his designation. He purchased me from an acquaintance I cannot identify for the purposes of protocol and bodyguard duties. Why can't you identify his acquaintance? Explanation. That previous owner is part of memories that are still deleted, Master. It is customary for a droid's memory to be wiped when it is sold. This man needed a bodyguard. Observation. Not that I could perceive, Master. The human believed that accompaniment by a bodyguard droid would increase his importance in the perception of others. You mentioned this Sistec Corporation when I purchased you. Explanation. Affirmative, Master. I had assumed that my previous owner was the corporation itself. This is not the case. The human purchased me privately. This man. 
Is he still alive? Answer. Negative, Master. The human was terminated by this HK-47 unit prior to system shutdown. You killed your own master. Affirmative, Master. Though I had not been programmed to do so, the human's termination was accidental. Why? What happened? Explanation. My former master had owned me for a duration of two standard months before discovering my assassination protocol. He was pleased by the discovery. The human informed me that a competitor corporation was preparing to market a product that would ruin him personally. He was most agitated. He activated my assassination protocol and instructed me to kill all those responsible for the competing product. I proceeded to carry out my order. Wait, tell me about this assassination protocol. Information. This HK-47 unit is complete with a protocol that, when invoked, will set me to independently carry out a termination. I will go to whatever lengths, travel whatever distances are required to complete the termination. This is the reason for my combat skills. Advisement! Unfortunately, the assassination protocol is currently non-functional. You will not be able to activate it. Why not? Answer! Several of my actuators were damaged by my former owner. They cannot be repaired, Master, sad though that is. And how did that result in his death? My former Master was unaware of this, but the competitor was in fact an arm of Sistec Corporation, my Master's own employer. It did not take long for my Master to realize his mistake. By then, I had already terminated 104 corporate officers. So he set you upon his own company? Observation. While it may have been unintentional, my master's wording of his orders left little room for me. Sistec was responsible for the product, after all. Why didn't he just deactivate you? Answer. I was not present to be deactivated, master. Part of my protocol is not to return to my master until my function is complete. I still had 15 officers to go. You killed 104 people? Statement. It was nothing really, Master. The majority of them were not even expecting it, and I moved very quickly. I do not know why my Master was so upset, really. He was an officer of Sistec, and a potential target, but I cannot terminate my own Master. I would assume that being the sole officer remaining, he would surely be promoted. Instead, however, the human chose to go insane with rage and attack me. And that's when you killed him. Objection! Naturally not, Master! As I said, I am incapable of purposefully terminating my owner. That would not be allowed. My master was not a smart man, however. While he was screaming and stabbing me with a writing utensil, he managed to pierce one of my actuators. The resulting shock terminated him and sadly destroyed my assassination protocol. Pure luck on his part, I suspect. <clears throat> I don't think he was as lucky as you think. Query. Do you know what the chances are of puncturing that sole actuator? I would have congratulated my master were he not sizzling and incoherent at the time. So you destroyed his life and then killed him, basically. Observation. Effectively, yes. This is a most pleasing memory, master. Thank you for recovering it. Well, it was his own fault. Statement. I was only doing as I was told, master. I would have told the human the proper codes to deactivate my protocol had he asked. I shut down immediately whenever my master dies. I can only assume that while I was shut down, Sistec was dismantled and I was auctioned off as former corporate property. Observation. No doubt my sale price was quite cheap, leading to Yukalaka's purchase. How very demeaning. Didn't they know what you had done? Statement. How could they? The vast majority of the officers had already been terminated. They likely assumed I was mere chattel. What a horrible story. Statement. That hurts, Master. This is my life you are talking about. I'm just glad I acquired you myself. Observation. So am I, Master, though I apologize for not having an assassination mode to offer you. Are you sure this actuator can't be fixed? Assessment. I do not believe so, Master. It would require complete dismantlement of my chassis, a most involved procedure. Did you recover any other memories? I have recovered knowledge of some other actuators which will enhance my performance, Master. I will activate them now, but as for my own history, negative. It will require further effort on your part to restore them if you wish, though certain stimuli could always restore my core still, as I explained. For now, please excuse me, Master. I wish to meditate upon the face of my former meatbag master as he was electrocuted. I find it most soothing. Then the second repair requires uh, repair rank 11 to succeed. Access complete. 
I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer master. Intriguing. What's so intriguing? Statement. It appears that my previous owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant, a man of importance who obviously appreciated quality craftsmanship. And how did he get a hold of you? Answer. I am unsure, master. Any knowledge of my owner prior to him is still deleted. The senator did assume I was a protocol droid, however. Did this senator know about your assassination function? Answer. It does not seem so, Master, no. He required a protocol droid only, and wanted one as cheaply as possible. I do not know who sold me to him. It seems you've been around, HK. Observation. It does seem that way, does it not? I can still remember all the glittering lights of Coruscant. Very pretty. Can we go back there, Master? I do remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later through questioning. The assistant was quite alarmed and told the senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the senator had me eliminate the fool. So we're not talking about a nice senator, I see. Observation. Senators are not nice, master. They are either on top of the game or yesterday's news. My master told me that frequently, you see. Sounds like my kind of guy. Observation. I rather liked the human myself. For a meatbag, his priorities were in the right place. I felt most useful. I hope this man is dead, right? Answer. Unfortunately so, master. While he lived, however, I maintained a most useful existence. I was proud to have partaken in the political system of the galaxy. During the time my owner possessed me, he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if you will. You can do that. Answer. Certainly. Why not? I am an intelligent droid, you know. I see an opportunity and I take it. And my master was most pleased with his work. So he just killed all his opponents? And nobody figured out what he was up to? Answer. There are a lot of politicians on Coruscant, master. I could spend decades slaughtering them and still not make a dent. And it is not as if I walked into the Senate chambers with a carbonite explosive. I was very discreet. My best work to date, that I can remember. Observation. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his wife. And why would he do that? Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. I believe his wife had done something that displeased him greatly. I was to go to their summer estate and terminate his wife, along with whatever male companion I discovered there. Sorry, being bothered. So his wife was cheating on him. Statement! I have no idea, Master. Cheating seems to be a relevant term only when one is caught in the act. Otherwise, it is viewed as intelligence, no? So you just kill anyone you're told? Observation. I am a droid, Master, with programming. Even if I did not enjoy killing, I would have no choice. Thankfully, I enjoy it very much. And did you? I journeyed to the southern continent, but it appeared my master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack. But my master interposed his own body and was destroyed. It was rather a strange meatbag thing to do, do you agree? not agree? Naturally, I shut myself down, my master being terminated. <clears throat> so that's two out of two masters killed. Observation. Only so far, Master. There are still more memories not recovered, remember? What happened to you then? Statement. I believe the Senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer, an acquaintance. Well, it appears he got a conscience at the end. Observation. I find that unlikely. Perhaps he was more concerned that the death of his wife would be more likely traced back to him. Have you recovered any other memories? Answer. As previously, I have found a few more programs which will enhance my performance. A most gratifying discovery, in fact. There is still nothing from previous memories uncovered. You will have to operate again if you desire to find them. With luck, I will discover the stimulus to unlock my core and all this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. Because of your repairs, HK-47 now has a permanent bonus of plus two to his defense rating, in addition to the plus two dexterity bonus from your earlier repairs. Journal entry, added, HK-47. 
Memories of HK-47's owner prior to the corporate executive have been recovered. The death of that owner shut HK-47 down, and eventually his wife unwittingly sold the droid to the executive. How the senator acquired HK-47 is unknown. The third repair requires repair rank 14 to be a success. Access complete. I have accessed information on my owner prior to the senator, master. Most unexpected. What now? Answer. It appears that previous to my ownership by the senator, I was the property of one Bochaba the Hut on the planet Sleheron. And what gruesome fate awaited him? Objection. That is unfair, master. While Bochaba may have died gruesomely, I most certainly had nothing to do with it. Well, very little. So you were a gangster's assassin droid? Statement. So it appears, master. A rather suitable occupation, would you not agree? That makes sense. Did the huts build you? Answer. It does not appear so. Or at least Bochaba was not my first owner. He purchased me from somewhere else. Hmm. My memory tells me that for a time Bochaba was one of the most feared gangsters on Sleheron. I helped him with his this reputation greatly. Over a span of one year, I terminated a grand total of 322 sentient meat bags. These contracts made Bochaba very wealthy. Don't you care about all those lives lost? Statement. Should I, Master? I had no reason to terminate those targets. It was not my decision. I am the weapon, not the wielder. But you have killed on your own accord before. You sound proud of that carnage. Answer. That is correct, Master. I do enjoy my work, though my past owners have enjoyed utilizing my functions far more. Strictly speaking, one meat bag is the same as another. Anything I do is in support of my master. And so what happened to stop that? It was unfortunate but inevitable that eventually Bochaba would overstep his bounds. I had just cleared two hut households when the exchange retaliated. Statement. I was not even present when my old master was assassinated. I did appreciate the artistry behind his demise upon my return, however. So another master gone because of you. Observation. Indeed. Perhaps it is better that my assassination function is inoperable, master, yes? No doubt. I am like a veritable fable, warning against the karma caused by murdering others. A morality tale, if you will. What utter irony. That's terrible. You don't even mourn your master? Observation. According to your own meatbag values, was my master not a heartless gangster and murderer? I will mourn you when you perish, master. When I perish? Amendment. If you perish. So far I am three out of three, remember, through little fault of my own. Why? How was he killed? Answer. Allow me to say that I have little doubt that residents of that sector were fishing pieces of bochaba out of their soup for weeks afterward. At any rate, I quickly shut down upon my master's death. The rival hut claimed me along with my master's other possessions. Observation. If that hut had only known my true function, he surely would not have sold me to a senator he bribed regularly. You would have preferred to stay on Sleheron. Observation. It would have suited my character, master. I have enjoyed my existence since, more or less, so I do not miss it. You would have been found out eventually. Observation. No doubt, master. It would have been a glorious battle to end my existence with. I would prefer that to rusting on a junk heap. I should dismantle you. Supplication. Please, master, have I not pleased you? I cannot control the acts I have performed. Perhaps that is why memory is erased. At any rate, I act only as you instruct me, even if that means being non-violent. How very self-sacrificing of you. Affirmation. HK-47 exists only to serve, master. Do you remember anything else? Answer. Negative, master. There is still more memory that can be restored, however, if you wish to try. As well, I believe I can restore several programs the hut installed to improve my performance. Yes, they are now active. Contemplative. I wonder how many more dead masters I might have out there. A droid can live for a long time, you know. Because of your repairs, HK-47 will now regenerate at a rate of one vitality point every six seconds in addition to his other abilities. Journal entry added, HK-47. It appears that prior to the Senator, HK-47 was owned by a feared gangster on Sleheron known as Bochaba the Hut. After Bochaba died, another gangster apparently sold the droid to the Senator. HK-47 wasn't built on Sleheron, however, so how he came into the Hut's possession is unknown. And the fourth and final repair we could have done requires a rank 17. Access complete. I have recovered the last of my deleted memory, Master. Unfortunately, my history is still not complete. What? Why not? 
And sir, as I did inform you, Master, the majority of my memory is still locked within my core. That can only be accessed by the appropriate stimuli, and I have no idea what that stimuli might be, unfortunately. Sadly, it seems my true origins will always be a mystery. Are you sure your core isn't just damaged? Observation. If it was, Master, your restorations will certainly have ensured that the proper stimulus restores my core's functions. Sadly, that could have already happened and we missed it, and my core was too damaged to activate. Oh, woe is me. You are eager to find your origins, are you? Query. Wouldn't you be, Master? Here I am, surrounded by all these meat bags, and all I desire is true perfection. Surely there are more droids like me out there, or is that too much to hope? Well. Objection. Oh, fine. Laugh at me, Master. Humiliate your pet droid. Go ahead. So tell me about this last owner, then. Correction. That would actually be my first owner, Master. The first I can remember. I had completed an assassination in Mandalorian space though I have no knowledge of what my target was or who sent me. Regardless, my motor function had been damaged and I could not return to wherever I had been sent from. A Mandalorian soldier claimed me as booty, I believe. He repaired me, poorly I might add, and proceeded to use my assassination protocol to raise his rank. It appears no one could resist using your protocol. Query, do you not have elim enemies that you would desire eliminated, Master? If my protocol still worked, would you not use it? No, of course not. That's different. Statement, if you say so, Master. Alternatively, I suppose I would at that. Statement, see, I provide a function that is useful to others. They merely must learn to use it properly, I believe. So there is no way to find out who sent you there originally. Answer, such knowledge is locked within my core, Master, as I said. There is no way to withdraw it otherwise. Does no one decent ever find you? Observation. You found me, Master. Perhaps you are simply fortunate that my assassination protocol no longer functions. At any rate, it seems that my Mandalorian owner finally decided to send me against Mandalore himself. My poorest performance, sadly. Oh, why is that? Answer. I was captured by this Mandalore during the attempt. He was able to reverse my programming and send me after my own master. It was quite distressing. There was little I could do. Needless to say, I dispatched the Mandalorian soldier efficiently. Once I deactivated, I believe I eventually ended up on the black market and was sold to the hut on Slaheron. <sighs> My darkest day. So you killed that master directly. Statement. So I did. I am not very proud of that, master. <clears throat> The soldier seemed very startled, I must say. You're just a traveling piece of bad luck, aren't you? Objection! That is so unfair, Master. Have I not brought you a great deal of satisfaction? You don't want to hear the answer to that. Statement. You are a very harsh master, Master. I like you. So you couldn't kill Mandalore, hey? Statement. With all due respect, Master, he is the leader of the Mandalorians. Perhaps my old master was foolish to send me after him. So can you remember anything else? Answer. There are a few Mandalorian implants that I can de that I can activate now. They will improve my performance. Beyond that, Master, there is nothing more I can relate to you. With luck, we will discover the stimulus to unlock my core very soon. Because of your repairs, HK-47 will now regenerate at a rate of one vitality point every three seconds, and has gained an additional plus two bonus to his dexterity. Journal entry added, HK-47. Prior to the hut, it appears that HK-47 was owned by a Mandalorian soldier. This is the last of HK-47's retrievable memories, however, and it seems the chain is still not complete. HK-47 had been on an assassination mission in Mandalorian space when he was damaged, but does not know who had originally sent him. Unless the stimuli to restore his deeper core is discovered, the details may never be known. All right. And with that, we are going to end this episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you so much for watching. We made it through the twist. It's a good one. I mean, really good if you ask me. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I hope you will give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to discuss this or any of my other content, the best way is through my Discord server. Uh, there's a link in the video description, but I've noticed recently that no matter how many links I create and set to never expire, they all seem to eventually expire. 
So if the link isn't working, just ping me directly and ask for a Discord invite and I will let you into the server. Um, if you care to support me or the channel, the best way, apart of course from liking and subscribing, is through my Patreon page. That link is also in the video description. Uh, my Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games they would like to see me play. KOTOR is one such game. Uh, once a game is chosen, I play it through all the way to the end, and then I let my supporters choose another. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. If you want to get involved, you can. Regardless, I really do want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time and attention. I am grateful for them. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.